Hi everyone, this is Kathy Lean with BK Crypto Crushers um, Outlook for the next couple days and just kind of recap of the markets. You know, crypto this morning, Wednesday, November 16th, is getting shellacked once again. And the reason is because of Genesis and how, you know, after all of the FTX um, collapse, we now have, you know, another shoe falling and, you know, Genesis is basically suspending withdrawals and you know basically it's an institutional <coughs> client based platform for the most part but they are suspending any redemptions and customer withdrawals i think it's not hard to imagine that more um, crypto firms will you know fall as a result of you know what's happening and this could be a slippery slope so you know it's kind of like once the cockroaches come out more and more of them follow Bitcoin is down 2% this morning, which is not a lot um, compared to, you know, the reactions off of FTX, but the hope for a little bit of a recovery um, over the past early in the week turned out to be nothing more than a dead cat bounce. And so we are seeing, you know, basically a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a uh, res resumption of the, the decline. We're looking at 15,000 as near-term support for Bitcoin. I think it's going to test it. I think it's going to, going to go to 15,000, possibly even this former breakout point here, uh, which is right around where the 100 simple moving average and the monthly chart is, and that's right about 12,000. So 15,000, in my opinion, is the next target for, um, for Bitcoin, followed by 12,000. Ethereum, not looking great. You know, on a structural basis, Ethereum is the um, stronger um, token in, in terms of, you know, what it, it offers compared to a lot of the other ones. But I don't think that matters. I think at this stage, um, it's all just a um, broad-based uh, crypto sell-off. Ethereum is down 3.5% this morning. 1,100 seems like really um, strong level of um, magnetization for Ethereum, and I think that it can slip down to that level 1100 quite easily. Binance also pulling back, um, and 260 is support. You know, just so you know, Crypto Crush has caught a lot of these trades. Um, oops, that's not what I'm looking for. For example, in Bitcoin, um, we did have that huge sell-off in Bitcoin off the FTX news, and um, it turned the strategy short, which the first and second target were hit. Ethereum, same story, really sharp sell-off. First and second target was hit in Ethereum. Um, Ripple, same move. So we are catching all of the declines um, in Crypto Crusher. But back to the charts, Binance, 260 is support. AVAX, AVAX, interestingly enough, um, has been a lot more um, uh, supportive. It's been... It hasn't um, extended its slide as much of the other, as the other cryptocurrencies, but still, it's a little bit lower today with 12 being support in AVAX, and I think it'll go down there. Litecoin also holding up comparatively low. Well. I mean, it's only down about um, half a percent compared to 2-3% in Bitcoin and Ethereum, and it's holding between the 100 and 200 SMA, so really, it's just consolidative. But I think for the most part, you know, even though you're seeing this, um, the path of least resistance for Litecoin um, will and should be lower. Solana, with um, Solana, we're seeing a drop in Solana, and um, Solana is also, you know, moving lower compared to um, is moving lower compared to a lot of um, the is, is moving lower like all the other cryptocurrencies 12 is support in solana and it's just kind of consolidative i do think it's going to drip lower polka dot um retraced and is pointing lower not as much of a decline um and you know i'm not sure what's um really holding it up but i think you know it does want to at least test 5.5 Cardano, same story, looking very much like Polkadot. We had, you know, a huge sell-off, a retrace, and a resumption of the slide right now. Ripple, much more room to fall for Ripple 
than some like polka dot and cardano um, i think that ripple could slip all the way down to 34 cents and then last but certainly not least doge doge you know on the other hand is just kind of um consolidating 88 cents support um i think it'll test um eight cents even but you know it's going to take direction from the other from the market leaders bitcoin and ethereum and because i'm still bearish cryptocurrencies unless there's sudden news and some sort of um saving grace or um yeah hero that comes into the markets which no one really wants to be i think that overall you know is definitely in a situation where we could see more weakness than strength um okay so that's basically what we are looking at with regards to um the crypto market and as i said earlier um crypto crusher we don't have any new trades in crypto crusher in the top 10 but we do have some trades in the lesser known um tokens namely bitcoin cash we're freshly short after hitting if you take a look at this chart after um let me zoom in catching this really nice downtrend we're freshly short in bitcoin cash and then in um zen cash we are also freshly short in Zcash. So this is Kathleen with um, an update on the crypto market. And um, if you want to get on the Crypto Crusher wait list, um, hit this, the, the, the video um, description link and we'll be happy to add you on there.